Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best smart fitness tracker watches. Starting at number 5. Garmin Forerunner 265. Garmin makes the best sports watches you can buy, and the Forerunner 265 is one of our favorites. The newly launched mid-range Garmin running watch has a bright, beautiful AMOLED screen, which is easy to see, even in direct sunlight. During testing, we were impressed with the lightness of this watch and how easy it was to use on the run. We appreciated that the Forerunner 265 has the addition of triathlon and multi-sport modes, allowing you to track all of your training in one session. The 265 also comes in two different sizes, 42mm and 46mm, we tested the smaller watch and found it extremely neat and lightweight on the wrist. Like a lot of the other best Garmin's, you can also download Garmin's training plans onto the watch, helping you run and race smarter. The Forerunner 265 also has a lot of Garmin's more premium features on board, including the morning report and the training readiness score, both of which help you get a better understanding of your overall health. If you're on a budget, now is a good time to check out the Garmin Forerunner 255, which is pretty similar aside from the screen, and still a great buy. Unsure which to buy? Check out our Garmin Forerunner 255 versus Forerunner 265 face-off here. Coming at number 4. Fitbit Sense 2. The Fitbit Sense 2 is the company's top-shelf smartwatch that comes with more advanced health and wellness features than the Versa line. During our testing, we found that the Fitbit Sense 2 helped us gain a better overall view of our overall health. Compared to the original Fitbit Sense, the Sense 2 features an upgraded design, interface and EDA sensor, making for Fitbit's most holistic smartwatch yet. An update to the stress-detecting EDA, electrodermal activity, Sensor plays a large role in the device's success, now called CETA, C4 Continuous, the sensor monitors stress levels or heightened responses throughout the day, prompting the user to take action on mood monitoring with body response notifications. As one of the best fitness trackers, the Sense2 works with both iOS and Android, and comes with onboard GPS, a native app store, Alexa and more. No longer is Fitbit just a brand with products for tracking our steps, Fitbit devices like the Fitbit Sense 2 make for excellent smartwatches, too. At number 3. Amazfit Band 5. The Amazfit Band 5 is a $50 fitness tracker that promises many of the marquee features found in this year's premium smartwatches, but at a fraction of the price. It has blood oxygen, SpO2, reading, stress monitoring, high heart rate alerts, Amazon Alexa built-in, sleep tracking and several other tools found in high-end offerings. In our testing, the fitness and sleep tracking on the Amazfit Band 5 were good, not great, but respectable for the low cost while still offering more than other trackers of its price. Better yet, the 15-day battery life meant we didn't need to worry about charging it all the time. Number 2 of my list. Fitbit Inspire 3. The Fitbit Inspire 3 is the best cheap fitness tracker because it nails the basics, heart rate monitoring, accurate workout tracking, and logging sleep stages. The fact that it doesn't have built-in GPS is slightly disappointing, you can connect it to your phone's GPS, but the Inspire 3 makes up for it with other features, such as Fitbit's inspiring, get it, community of people trying to get and stay in shape. You can participate in challenges to outpace friends, colleagues, or even strangers. For $100, you'll get Fitbit's Active Zone Minutes metric, 10 days of battery life, touch controls, and, in the biggest update from the Fitbit Inspire 2, a bright, beautiful AMOLED screen. The Fitbit unit itself is only available in black, but is sold with three different band colors, black, lilac, and morning glow. The wristband comes in two sizes, small and large. And number 1. Fitbit Charge 6. The Fitbit Charge 6 is Fitbit's latest fitness tracker, replacing the Fitbit Charge 5 in the brand's lineup of trackers. It has a number of exciting updates compared to the Charge 5, the haptic side button is back, making it easier to navigate around the tracker. You can also now use the Charge 6 as a heart rate tracker when using NordicTrack, Peloton, and Tonal Gym equipment. 
It's also the first Fitbit fitness tracker to get Google Maps, YouTube Music, and Google Wallet, but new Charge 6 users will need a Google account now. Of course, you buy a fitness tracker to, well, track your fitness, and the Charge 6 does a good job of this. It has built-in GPS to more accurately track your runs, hikes, and bike rides outside. It also has more sports modes than the Charge 5 did, allowing you to mix up your training. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.